Hey y'all, what's poppin'? There was a poll done about whether or not people think that American society is racist. Let's take a look. Percentage who agree that American society is racist. Total, 56%. That's a majority. That's a majority. Democracy, baby. Men, 46%. Is it? Why are, like, seriously, like a genuine question out there? Like, to all the men, I know not all men, right, but like 46% of men, <laughs> nearly a majority of men, are fucking stupid. So weird. So weird. Women, 66%. That's, that's still a little shocking, but, you know, better than that. White, 51%. Barely eking out a majority there, but very shocking. White people are just cringy. Black, 78%. The fact that that's not 100% is bizarre to me. Hispanic, 60%. Same comment as above. Democrats, 82%. The, uh, the remaining 18% are the Joe Biden wing of the party. Independents, 45%. Republicans, 30%. I would like to talk to the 30%. Well, Actually, they, prob they probably think it's racist against white people. Never mind, never mind. Ages 18 to 34, 65%. That is shockingly low. That is, that is, that right there is shockingly low. You would think, maybe if it was like 18 to like, you know, 18 to like 25 or something, maybe it would be like 80%, but 18 to 34, come on, y'all. What the fuck? That is bullshit, and you know it. Age 65 and older, 53%. And here's another screenshot here. Percentage who say, underscore, Americans are discriminated against. As you can see, there is a giant uptick. And there hasn't really been an, a giant uptick in racism. I would say there has definitely been a big uptick since Trump's election. But all of these things have been here. All these institutions have been here since July 1990, at least. So this is just... An increase in, like, obviously, about 15% of Americans think white people are being racist uh, or being racially discriminated against. That's hilarious. But, like, this is one of those things where it's like social media has created a dynamic where people are able to finally see what's actually happening. Like, before it was just like Rodney King being beaten by police and then all the police being acquitted and it's like damn that's fucked up but those you know it's just bad apples right and it's like over that time since then there have just been like the advancement of social media has just escalated more and more and more and more people are finally seeing through the bullshit they're finally finding out what has been happening the whole time and mostly this is just a realization amongst white people for example i'm white I was raised by white parents. I went to a white school, mostly white school, right? Like there was like one black kid in all of my elementary school classes, you know, like a few like mixed race people, but mostly white. And I was taught even by black teachers. I had two black teachers. I was taught that Martin Luther King Jr. ended racism. I was taught, yeah, Malcolm X, not the greatest guy. He shouldn't have been so mean about it. I was taught the Civil Rights Act was when racism finally ended. Then I remember when Obama became president and everyone was like, yeah, racism's over. Woo! And then I, like, I realized once I started using the internet, once I started studying and researching more, and it took me longer than it should have, but you know, white people are cringe. We are born and bred to be racist. Even, like, my my mom always told me racism and prejudice is bad, but she was still racist and pre prejudiced. She just didn't realize it. That's how internalized white people are when it comes to racism. And it's, it takes a, it's a tough nut to crack. And that nut has been being cracked over the course of the last 10 years, especially. And it's just brilliant to see. Once you finally realize that everything you were taught in school was wrong and a lie, that's when you can finally have the audacity to see through the bullshit and to tell the government, you know what? Fuck you. You're fucking us over. Even if you're not fucking me over directly, you fucking my neighbor over hurts me because they're my neighbor. And that's the mentality that we need to have. Now, again, there's always going to be Republicans, at least in the near future, that, that are like 20-ish percent of the, the of overall society are just going to be ungettable. But 
we're hitting 60% of society right now that thinks that black people are discriminated against by society itself. That's We need 20 more percent of those people that are on the fence still. But it's, it's good compared to, again, August 2008, where it was like half of that. And it's just, again, the tides are turning. Like, spring is coming. And you just love to see it.